Detective John Smith arrived at the remote mountain lodge on a cold winter day where a murder had been reported. The victim, Oliver Branson, was the founder of Branson Industries and a wealthy businessman in his late fifties. The crime had taken place in one of the lodge's cabins where Oliver was staying. As Detective Smith entered the crime scene, he saw the body lying on the floor, with a large wound on the chest. The detective's initial observation of the room revealed some clues, such as a ski pole with the initials M.W.s leaning against the wall, and a piece of paper torn from a notepad lying on the floor. On the paper, the name Leah Sinclair and the amount $10,000 were written. The detective also noticed a coat hanger with a coat on it hanging on the back of the door. As Detective Smith surveyed the crime scene, he could hear the commotion outside, with the lodge's guests and staff gathering to see what had happened. He realized that he needed to act quickly and gather as much evidence as possible before the scene got disrupted. The detective took out his notebook and started to jot down his initial observations. He planned to use his expertise and analytical skills to make sense of the clues and solve the case. After examining the crime scene, Detective John Smith sat down to analyze the information he had gathered. He knew that he needed to find out more about the victim, Oliver Branson, and the people who were present at the lodge during the time of the murder. The detective requested for the lodge manager, Leah Sinclair, to give a statement about the events leading up to the murder. Leah explained that Oliver had checked in along with his personal assistant, Evelyn Johnson, a few days before the murder. Max Woods, the ski instructor, had arrived at the lodge the previous day. Leah also mentioned that Oliver had been in a foul mood, arguing with several of the staff members. After talking to Leah, the detective met with the other staff and guests who were present in the lodge that night. They recounted their movements and activities on the night of the murder. The detective scrutinized their statements, looking for any inconsistencies or contradictions with the evidence he had gathered. He also spoke with the police officers who had arrived at the scene and gathered any additional information that could be useful. Based on his observations and initial analysis, Detective Smith deduced that the murder weapon was likely a sharp object, which was supported by the wound in the victim's chest. He also speculated that the motive behind the murder was related to financial gain, given the piece of paper with Leah Sinclair and $10,000 written on it, found in the victim's coat pocket. The detective knew that he had a challenging case on his hands with multiple suspects, who all had plausible motives for committing the crime. Nonetheless, he was determined to unravel the mystery and bring the culprit to justice. Detective John Smith spent the next few days gathering and analyzing evidence related to the murder. He carefully examined the items found in the crime scene and questioned all the suspects. He also conducted a thorough search of each suspect's room, looking for any clues that could point to their involvement in the murder. While searching Evelyn Johnson's room, the detective found a coat with bloodstains on it. The bloodstains were consistent with the victim's blood type, and the detective suspected that the coat might have been used to cover up the killer's tracks. The detective scrutinized Evelyn's alibi and found that she had been sleeping in her room at the time of the murder, but no one could confirm her whereabouts during the rest of the night. Next, the detective examined the ski pole found near the scene of the crime, which had the initials M.W. carved on it. The detective realized that it belonged to Max Woods, the ski instructor. The detective confronted Max Woods, who claimed that he had lost his ski pole while skiing and had been unable to find it. However, the detective remained suspicious and kept an eye on Max throughout the investigation. Finally, the detective examined the torn piece of paper found in the victim's coat pocket with Leah Sinclair's name and the amount $10,000 written on it. The detective questioned Leah, who claimed that she had no knowledge of the paper or the money. However, the detective could not rule out Leah's involvement, given her financial troubles. As the detective gathered more evidence, he became more certain that each suspect had a motive for committing the murder but he needed 
to find solid evidence to link the murderer to the crime. The detective knew that he had to be patient and persistent in his investigation and use all his skills and knowledge to unravel the mystery. After gathering and analyzing all the evidence, Detective John Smith began interviewing the suspects again, armed with the new information he had obtained. He confronted each of them with the clues that pointed towards them and asked them to give a detailed account of their actions on the night of the murder. During the interviews, the detective noticed that Max Woods became defensive when he was asked about his ski pole with the initials M.W. Max claimed that he had lost it while skiing, but the detective reminded him that the pole had been found leaning against the wall near the murder scene. Max started to lose his composure and began to argue with the detective. When questioned about the bloodstain coat found in her room, Evelyn Johnson claimed that the stains were from a nosebleed. However, the detective pointed out that the stains were inconsistent with someone wiping their nose, and more in line with someone attempting to clean up a mess. As for Leah Sinclair, the detective asked her about the torn piece of paper with her name on it, found in the victim's pocket. Leah claimed that she had no knowledge of the paper, but the detective persisted and asked her about her financial struggles. After some hesitation, Leah admitted that she owed money to some people and was in a precarious financial situation. Based on the evidence and the interviews, Detective Smith built a solid case against each suspect. Max Woods had a grudge against the victim, and his ski pole was found near the crime scene. Evelyn Johnson had a blood-stained coat that matched the victim's blood type. Leah Sinclair had financial troubles, which could have been a motive for murder. The detective knew that he was closing in on the killer, but he needed one final piece of evidence to prove their guilt. Detective John Smith gathered all the suspects in the main lobby of the Mountain Lodge. He had carefully studied all the evidence and conducted thorough interviews with each suspect, and now he was ready to reveal the killer. Oliver Branson was murdered by someone in this room, Detective Smith began. The clues have led me to one conclusion. The killer is Leah Sinclair. Gasps filled the room as Leah's face turned pale. I found a torn piece of paper in Oliver's coat pocket with your name and the amount of $10,000 written on it. Detective Smith explained. It seems that you were in debt and needed money badly, and the bloodstains found on Evelyn's coat were a clever attempt to throw me off your trail. Leah looked down, tears welling up in her eyes. Yes, it's true. I had no choice but to kill him. He was going to ruin me. Detective Smith signaled for the officers waiting outside, and they quickly handcuffed Leah and escorted her out of the lodge. As they walked through the snow, Detective Smith couldn't help but feel a sense of satisfaction. Another case solved, another killer brought to justice. But his mind was already working on his next case, wondering what challenges it would bring. In the end, the murder at the Mountain Lodge had been solved, but it had also revealed the darker side of human nature. Detective Smith couldn't help but wonder how many more people out there were capable of such heinous acts, and how many more cases he would have to solve in his lifetime. But for now, he was content to have done his job and brought closure to the victim's family. As they drove away from the mountain lodge, the snow continued to fall, covering the ground in a pristine blanket of white. The world was quiet and still, but Detective Smith knew that beneath the surface there was always something lurking, waiting to be uncovered, and he was ready for whatever lay ahead. Thanks for watching. If you like our content, please like and subscribe.